Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 22. Alright, the previous episode was really a fantastic episode. We got uh, a lot of, not a lot of, but quite a few amount of backstories. First obviously of uh, Toga, Toga's backstory and then, um, what's his name? Shigaraki. Little bit of Shigaraki's flashback we saw and um the main focus was obviously on toga how she was you know how her like normal life was before she became a villain and what made her become like this and it was a really like i have to say like it was a really um, interesting thing that not like i kind of feel bad actually like referring to like you know her backstory is interesting because it's actually really sad but you know it's very unique in its own way because um she like she, like the, the ironical thing here is she wanted to be normal wanted to be perceived as normal but trying to pursue that normalcy she like unfortunately she was unable to do that and as her mask broke off she like, in, in the future she had to walk the path of a villain which kind of makes it that the thing that she wanted to do, she wanted to become normal, that in itself was what led her to become something that is far from normal, that is a villain. So, like, <laughs> pursuing normalcy made her stray from the normal path of normal, you know, of other people. And in a, another way, you know, uh, as we can see, if, uh, like, from the villain's perspective, all the villains, and I'm sure it's the same for Toga as well, like they are really what can i say the you know the villain group the league of villains is some place that they feel that they belong to because the normal society has rejected them outcasted them so the league of villains is the most normal place for them so like it's it's really like what can i say like like as i said unique in a way the whole situation that's happening there like the league of villains in itself is very unique all the other like you know all the different characters have like especially like you know himiko uh, shigaraki as well i'm guess f feeling it from all the flashbacks that we're getting probably we're going to get some more in the future you know like they have some really unique stories and um twice as well like he like we already know his story like how he became like this like he his story is also very unique and I'm quite looking forward to the other villains' backstory as well. Like there are a lot of other villains we don't know anything about. Dabi, for example, I, I don't think we got anything from him, from him. Yeah. And all the other villains. So, yeah. So let's see what this episode brings. The last uh, scene was where like Twice was kind of like losing his mind. The, the you know, uh, the, oh, I forgot the guy's name. The who like you know is, like makes anthropomorphic things and he's like tricking him to think like those are actually his own you know creation and like he's freaking out now so let's see what happens now so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number um 22 yeah 22 of my hero academia season 5 so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three Two, one, go. Oh boy. Ah. Whoa. What the? Okay. Creating puppets, yeah. Communication system. Oh, my God. Ah. Yeah, like he, he that's a trauma that he has. So, oh my god, no, what the hell? Oh 
Oh my god, snap out of it! Oh god, I, I hope someone comes and saves. Oh my god, the, the opening, oh my god, the, the timing. I don't know what's going to happen, boy. Oh, wow, look at this, my villain academia. It would be funny if they actually change the characters here, like, you know, like we don't see Deku, Todoroki and Bakugo, but <laughs> Shigaraki, Dabi and uh, Himiko, I guess, Toga. <laughs> oh boy, that would be really funny if they actually did that, but I doubt they're going to do that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh boy. Ah! Okay, we're getting some backstory. Oh, this was before he had the mental breakdown. Okay. Uh, yeah, I doubt that. There are... Yeah, exactly. That as well and people are going to judge you for it. Like... God damn. Oh. oh my god yeah this is where it okay uh Oh, he made himself. Mm. Oh no. Oh yeah, then this happens. <laughs> oh, Giran, okay, this is where he meets him. Oh, okay. He trusted. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Energetic group. Okay, so Giran introduces him to um, the League of Villains. All right. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, come on. Oh my god! 
Oh no! Okay. Oh my. Yeah, you are the you. He is him. Okay, come on, realize that and. Yeah, okay, come on. Come on. Come on, yes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, ah, let's go. Wow. Okay. Mm. Beautiful. Sad man's parade. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, now he can make more than two. Let's go. Okay, you know. All right. He's no more twice. He is. <laughs> He's not twice anymore. He's infinite doubles. Wow. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh my God. Look at this. Boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Once, maybe the, it'll be <laughs> Yeah, it'll be twice from now on, I guess. <laughs> oh my god he's okay get in okay let's see i'm sure Dabi can handle him hopefully let's see Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of backup now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True, true. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, you can do that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, true. One hour, it's a long time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Okay, 
Oh, is he using the water vapor or something? Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, so he can use water vapor from the atmosphere as well. <laughs> yeah. Social status. Whoa. <laughs> 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 oh, he his stress yeah he doesn't care i doubt hmm but <laughs> yeah oh what's he doing oh he's waking him up okay a little bit quicker nice and he's up <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right. Okay, let's see. Boy, <laughs> Giganta Mike, if he comes here, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh. <laughs> True. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Nice. <laughs> There's more of you. Yes, you can. Boy. Like, I can think that Twice's power is really immense now. Like, it's, it's not that he can make clones. He can make duplicates of anything. As he said, he can make duplicates of Dabi and others. It's quite dangerous in a way. Hmm. <laughs> Get some sleep. Nah, not enough in a way. Oh, yeah, that's as well. Hmm. What? The hell is this guy? Oh. Oh great. What's his quirk? Oh. Wait, is he like a buffer? It increases others' power? Yeah, he's like a support character. <clears throat> Only one of them, but. <laughs> Oh, there he, he made Shigaraki. And he made, oh my god. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, here we go again. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, his. Oh, God. I don't think so. Let's see. Whoa, what the? Damn, what the hell is this quirk? God. Yeah, they're quite weak because they are, you know, copies, so. Oh. Oh my god, yeah. Oh. Okay, come on, let's go. Oh, a little bit more. Well, obviously, what what were you expecting? Great. Oh, his. Oh, damn. What? Start a turn. Oh boy. Just made people avoid. Oh my god, these people. Oh, that's that was all. Look, that's his grandmother, that means. Wow, this guy thinks he's the... Uh, he doesn't even... <laughs> he doesn't even know... <laughs> okay. Oh, nice! Come on! Yes, okay! Cushion! Yes, you need to make a cushion! All right. Huh. 
<laughs> All right. Oh my god, it ends there. What? Oh, I was waiting for Gigantomachia to come in and <laughs> wreck the place. <laughs> uh, it'll, it'll probably happen in the next episode. Oh boy. Wow, that went quickly. I was like... Alright. Wow. Okay, these episodes are getting really interesting. Um, so, yeah, these, these are great. Okay, so, okay, so the whole thing here is, like, like, as I said, like, you know, all the villains, all the uh, villains, uh, like, villain characters in this show has some kind of uh, reason, you know, for doing stuff which are, uh, most probably which uh, originate from their own past suffering, you know, like, for example, Shigaraki, uh, Gubaigara, Toga, all of them have some kind of bad things happening to them in their past, which triggered their, like, you know, becoming a villain. That's why every villain here obviously has a reason, a deeper underlying uh, reason for becoming a villain. A villain. So, <coughs> like, same with Redestro, I, like, I can see that, but one thing that this guy is you know, okay, is that the end? Uh, one way that this guy is different from the League of Villains is that he actually thinks that he and the other people who are, you know, working for this goal, the goal that they are doing, like they think that they're doing some kind of a noble thing, you know, they're actually, like, you know, trying to free the people from this societal uh, bound uh, rules and regulations, not to use uh, their, uh, you know, quirks. So, like, that's the main thing here. He thinks that he is doing some kind of a noble thing and he is fighting against the, uh, you know, the self-imposed, uh, what do you call it, uh, this restriction, the world that has put on each and every people that you should not use your quirks. He thinks that he's fighting for their freedom. And, like, you know, that's what makes this guy and his group different from the League of Villains because the League of Villain knows that they're doing bad stuff, you know, and they realize that whatever they're doing are not good according to the society, and they're still doing that because they think that, you know, like, because they're villains, and because uh, the place, like, you know, the, the group that has expect, uh, accepted them, you know, they are uh, the villain group, so because, like, you know, like, they love their current state they love their uh, friends uh, and you know shigaraki as well they respect him as a leader they are doing all of these things because he is the only person who accepted them same with shigaraki for uh, all for one because all for one is the one who accepted him and he knows i'm sure like you know like he knows that he's doing bad stuff he's doing stuff that are villainous but he he is doing this because uh, he really respects and really trusts, really loves the one who had saved him from this world. And he also has some little bit of a grudge against the world. Same with the, all the other people, like all the other villains. They have a little bit of grudge against the world. The world that had not expected their abnormality. You know? So <clears throat> that's what the League of Villains are and that's what these people are obviously they won't they won't really you know uh, what do you call it get along with each other because both of their ideals are completely opposite <laughs> you know like these people the villain gr group knows that they are bad people they're doing bad stuff because and they're doing that because of the grudge against their world and to show like you know r respect towards the group that had accepted them that's the league of villains these people, the uh, Metal Liberation group, they think they're doing some kind of a noble deed. As far as I could understand from their conversation, they're, they're thinking that, yeah, like, whatever we're doing is going to make the world a better place. So, <laughs> yeah, they, they won't really get along to, uh, like, you know, with each other. And obviously, like, we can see that Reed Destro is a person who has a huge, what can I say? Um, 
pride in a way in what he is doing you know like he like when he was explaining about what you know like read uh, what destro did and how he is kind of carrying it on like it could be clearly seen that he is very prideful of what he is doing and he thinks that whatever he is doing is correct and so in in his eyes he's like you know this group of villains it's league of villains he in his eyes he thinks that these people are just little like you know uh what do you call it uh some little pesky like people who are just like doing villainous things just for the sake of it without any end goal without any noble goal and that pisses him off so that's why he is not really that much appreciative of the league of villains and uh, <clears throat> yeah so <laughs> that's why they're fighting against each other so i don't know like you know like i think um like out of these two groups obviously like i prefer the league of villains but because as i said like, they at least acknowledge that they are bad people they're villains Whereas these people are just like, you know, like living in a weird type of a, uh, what do you call it, a weird type of a bubble where they think that whatever they are doing is going to work well for the world. Obviously, it's not going to because like, you know, if, if this world really becomes a place where people can do whatever the hell they want with their quirk and like, you know, there's no rules and regulations of not using their quirk, you know, it, it, the whole world would be in chaos. First of all, the first reason why it would be in chaos is there are probably still people in this world who don't have a quirk. What are they going to do? You know? Another reason why the world is going to be in chaos, there are definitely people who have superior quirks to others. You know? So that will make the people who have some kind of minor quirk, some kind of thing which is not that powerful, they're going to be, get exploited by the people who have better quirks. Another thing that's going to happen uh, if, like, you know, is that uh, the people who have superior quirks are going to rule the whole world, even if they are incompetent. You know, like if, if someone has like some god tier power, but they are stupid in their brain, you know, and they don't know what to do, like, you know, like they don't have any brains and stuff, and they're, 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 they're just, as I said, incompetent. Like he's going to boss around everyone. You know who are like you know like even people who are uh, more competent than him and he's going to be become like the leader of the whole like, you know place and it's, it's going to like plunge the world into chaos like this so that's another thing another thing that's going to happen is a lot of things is going to happen like the, the, the violence will increase in the whole world immensely because there's no rule to keep them in the, the people in line you know so there's no law here so like like there's, there's a lot of things that i can say here you know that's going to happen if whatever redestro is doing is comes uh, if it comes uh, becomes true and uh, like that's not how this world that's not the direction this world should go because yeah it's it's going to mess everything up so <sighs> Like, I don't know, like, 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 I get it, what, like, what he's saying is that, yeah, you should not let, you know, uh, re re let people repress their quirks. Like, in a way, I think that that's very, like, his, his statement that he's saying that, yeah, like, everyone should just use their quirks. That's very, like, what do you call it? Like, weird, and that's, that's definitely not something someone should do. Because without rules and regulations, this world will go mad. So, I don't know what he's thinking, why he's... Like, obviously, I can understand that his motivation for doing this is actually because um, previously, you know, when, like, as he said, like, you know, when the quirks were a very unusual thing, people used to bully them, people used to kind of, you know... <coughs> what do you call it? Uh, exclude them from everything. And they, like, you know, they used to treat them very badly. So <clears throat> that's why he is saying that, yeah, everyone should use his quirk and it should be legal by law. And, <clears throat> but now, like, you know, now, now we can see that that's not the case anymore. You know, like, now quirks are very common. There's even, like, a hero academia for people with quirks. They can study there and everything. Like, the world has changed. So he, 
still is not satisfied with that he thinks that yeah like like everyone needs to use self work so i don't know like um i can understand why he's doing this as i said like you know because of his uh past experience with the an injustice done towards the people who had works but like i don't know you know like in a way like that is something that usually happens when like whenever like you know something new comes people are usually skeptical about it for quite a long while because like people humans are afraid of the unknown so like when quirks was were new they were skeptical about it and they acted cruelly towards the people who had that but now as it's kind of getting normalized people have changed their ways changed their like you know way of thinking and like this is this is society nothing else you can do you know like uh, like every as i said like whenever something new will come people will be spec- uh, skeptical towards it people will kind of go against that but as it becomes normal it it like you know it'll kind of become like very like you know normal yeah so just just like you know uh, youtube <laughs> like there was like a time i i like i obviously like <clears throat> a long time ago where and i've heard a lot of youtubers say that whenever we used to talk to people and they asked us like what do we do for a living and we said that oh i make videos play video games for for my living they would look at them like so there's some kind of an alien <laughs> but now like with the, with so much so many people doing youtube becoming professional gamers and stuff like a lot of people actually kind of has changed their mind there's still people who kind of like if you like if, go and like like there are people who if you say that yeah i'm doing youtube for a living they'll kind of look you at you weirdly and they won't understand what the hell you are saying like playing video games you get money for that like what <laughs> impossible <laughs> that's not a real job like th- there are, will be people like that but they are reducing and i'm sure after a decade youtube will be like one of the uh, like you know <clears throat> one of the what do you call it uh youtubing but, but and gaming you know the professional gaming all this stuff this will be like one of the main occupations of people people will accept that for you this is what i'm trying to say like whenever something comes new in people are skeptical about it but if you like start try to start a rebellion because of that and like you know like the the way the restaurant is doing uh you, like he wants like, the, everything to go away the limitations and the rules and regulations <laughs> nah that won't work so anyways all right i talked a lot about this okay first of all we got a little bit of a uh, back story of bubai gawara and we can see like how he became kind of you know like his uh like past experiences the, like his mistake that he did kind of like you know ran over a person he lost his job and then he had no friends he was lonely he made clones and kind of talked with them himself and then like we know what happened you know like the whole thing happened the twice incident happened like you know they ended up killing each other his clones and he became traumatized by thinking that oh am i the real one or am i not and then he goes to giran and he introduces him to the league of villains and like that's why he respects him so much he loves him so much giran so and then we get to see like you know like uh, the next scene where dubai gar actually saves toga and like here we can see that his actual reason for trauma his what is his trauma he thinks that am i the real one or am i not am i going to disappear that's his trauma so when he, like you know like when he got his arm broken you know he realized that yeah like i i am the real one so that kind of overcame his trauma like all this while he was freaking out over the fact that if he was the real one or not like he was really scared like if someone like you know actually damages me a little bit more will i disappear you know like am i really the real one or is that clone over there the real one so if i get hurt very badly i might disappear he was always this kind of you know like you know like a, a dilemma a kind of like a mental conflict so now that he had nowhere to go and the guy actually broke his arm you know the thing that he always kind of like you know made him uh in like kept him in conflict that went away he realized that yeah my arm is broken and i'm not disappearing that means i am me i am the real one and that over like that overcame his trauma he overcame his trauma and he's no more twice he <laughs> became a lot more than twice 
and he can like you know make full use of his power now and that was really great in in a way and it really makes me feel like like twice definitely has become one of probably one of the strongest villains because it's not that he only makes clones of himself he can make clones of anything any inanimate object like you know even like shigaraki dabi like obviously i know that the clones that he'll make are obviously not be as strong as the original one but still like you know like if you make like uh <laughs> what do you call it like a million dabi you know like you can like completely like blast the whole place as he said like you know you can burn the whole place down with so many dabis even though he the clones won't be as strong as the original dabi like they can like make chaos like that's why i'm saying like twice like in this episode like he became one of the strongest villains in my opinion like in a support perspective you know like his offensive power is not much but in a support perspective he's like s tier now <laughs> so so like that's like that's really something and in offensive power as well like if he makes him his clones of himself a lot of them like we can see like quantity here like there's so many of them like actually if gangs up on someone like damn he's gone completely however strong he is but yeah like that that was really great twice like you know finding his new power unlocking his meta power <laughs> full extent of it and then we get to see dabi fighting and the ice guy i forgot his name and um the doctor woke up giganto machia which i think was a correct decision because either otherwise i don't think they would be able to uh, hold their ground for long uh, because redestro really is strong giganto machia is up he is on his way uh, to his uh, master's successor <laughs> and uh, yeah okay that was that and then like one of the bubagara clone sneaks in makes the clones and we can see as i said like you know they are not as strong as the original counterparts <clears throat> and we can see redestro's strength here as well i'm not sure what his actual strength is it, it seems as if he can like enlarge his hands and everything like he becomes very strong so i'm sure we're going to get an actual explanation what his quirk is in the next episode and the, like you know the patch of like you know burnt area i'm not sure if that is what it is you know the black patch in his eyes kind of expands more so i'm sure that also has some kind of an explanation in the f future we're going to get and then we get to learn you know the backstory of redestro in a way like you know destro's mom was the one who was uh treated wrongly again just because she wanted to save her kid and uh which was destro so and his mom lost his life in that process and that's why we did like destro started all this after destro died we destro decided to take this on so so that lady uh, who she, he was talking about was his grandma that means isn't it yeah all right okay that happens and it was really uh, great the way they actually counteract that when like you know <laughs> shigaraki says that oh like twice you should probably make a cushion because i saw the original me coming here <laughs> and yeah that happens but unfortunately nothing happened to redestro he's all fine so yeah the next episode will probably be oh and in the end we see like most of his uh, face is kind of covered with that black patch i'm not sure what that actually is we'll get explanation sooner or later um, and yeah most probably in the next episode <clears throat> we're also going to see giganto machia come in crash down the party you know and uh, yeah so yeah that was it guys that was this episode uh, these few episodes are really getting interesting you know the my villain academia <laughs> it's really very interesting and i'm looking forward to the next episode so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to my hero academia or my villain academia <laughs> season 5 episode number 22 so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed be sure to comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah so yeah guys that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of my hero academia season 5 so until then goodbye and have a nice day